Hey, welcome to The Dish with David. I want to talk about safety. Uh, the industry lost Helena Hutchins recently on the set of Rust. And a lot of you probably know this. And um, I haven't had a chance to talk about it. I've been on set for a few days. But it's it's been... It's really messing with me because I, if you if you've watched this show before, you know how I feel about about safety. If you are a producer, it's your job to keep everyone on your work site safe. And if you're an actor, you, in order to do your best work, you should feel safe. Sometimes actors, newer actors, don't know what precautions should be there for them to to do their work safely. If you've been following the news, which you probably have, especially if you're in the biz, you know by now that Helena Hutchins was a cinematographer and she was she was killed on the set of a feature film called Rust. I don't know ever I wasn't there, but a lot of details are coming out. Um, live ammunition should never be used on a film set, obviously. Um, blanks are sometimes used on film sets, but are also dangerous. And as far as I know, live rounds, ammunition that is m meant to harm or kill things, live rounds were somehow in the weapon that discharged. As far as I know, and I'm going to link some articles below because you should all, we should all do research about this. As far as I know, the environment on that set before this tragic incident, the environment around safety was already problematic and a lot of the crew the IATSE crew, which is the, the union that represents a lot of the workers on the crew side, a lot of them left set, walked off, because things, things were not being handled safely. New crew members were brought in. Rather than stop the shoot, new crew members were brought in, and then this tragedy occurred. You can do your, I'm not going to necessarily point fingers or lay blame. Again, I wasn't there, but this does seem like we should go to the top and look at the producers and figure out what happened. So many things went wrong, and if you if you read, if you watch interviews, and you listen to armorers who have been on set or who have an extensive resume, then they'll. I've heard these interviews, and they're talking about all these safeguards that are in place around firearm safety on set, and all of the things that broke down that led to the tragedy and the accidental death of Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust. There were breakdowns, obviously. Safety is so important. We have to make sure everything is done always around safety. And let's move, now let's segue and let's talk about COVID again. I've talked about safety around COVID before and I wanna remind everyone that this, we're not out of this thing and that there are ways to keep people safe on set even during this time okay my suggestions for and there's two things going on here because I produce and I act so as an actor I am going to ask and I, I, I need to know what safety precautions will be in place on your set before I sign on will there be a COVID compliance officer are all actors and crew are they, is everybody vaccinated? That does happen. There are, I just got off a set, everyone on set had to be vaccinated against COVID-19 in order 
to get hired. As an actor, that makes me feel safe. There's also COVID testing that happens on set. There's also COVID ha testing that happened for me before I even got on a plane to get to set. Yes, it costs a bit of money to get all of these things done, but it is crucial to work in an environment where you feel safe. And it is absolutely mandatory, in my opinion, that producers do everything they can to make everybody on the job site, on the film set, safe from harm. Thanks for hanging out. Um, stay safe out there. If you're an actor, stay safe. You know, take care of yourself, but also help each other. Let's all work together to make sure that we feel safe. If something does not feel safe, speak up. Please, speak up. It's okay to speak up if you're not feeling safe. Physically, emotionally, speak up. Producers, please, create environments that are safe. And if you don't know how to do that, please reach out. I can point you in a few directions. It's possible. We, in the, in the entertainment industry, it's, it's a wonderful place to work. We're creating, we're creating things. We're, it feels special. It is. Being in the arts is, it's exciting, it's fun, it's collaborative, it's beautiful, but we have to put safety first. Okay. Thanks for watching. Cheers.